Men die first because they do not prioritize their health. If they really prioritized their health, they would live better. And most men do not want to accept that they are sick until they are on an ambulance being rushed to the hospital. But if men really prioritized their health, we could increase the number of years they live on this earth. That's why I'm saying the foreign test, men health test. Are you really healthy as you think you are? So this test, I've categorized them below 30, above 30, and above 50 years. So most of them are common, but there are some few differences that comes with age. Right? Let's start with the basic test. Number one is blood pressure. In most hospitals and clinics and pharmacies, blood pressure is free. Well, in Kenya, blood pressure is just 20 shillings. Just knowing how is your blood pressure going. Remember, blood pressure, if you get blood pressure, if you have a condition of blood pressure, then blood pressure is a lifetime condition and it could cause death. It could give you stroke as well, right? So checking your blood pressure is vital. So number one is blood pressure. Number two is diabetes. The test for these is called, you need three tests to assess. Remember this, men health test. Okay, so in diabetes, you need to check three things. Number one, before you eat, it's called fasting blood sugar. You need to check how is it. Should be between 3.5 all the way to 5, right? Fasting blood sugar. Can your body be able to survive without you eating? That's the, that's the first question. Or are your glucose going to go low levels? You're going to die. Something called hypoglycemia, right? So number one is fasting blood sugar. Number two is random blood sugar. You just walk into a facility and then they just check your sugars. Your sugars, normally they should be between 3.5 all the way to 7 or 8, right? So anything above that is a problem, okay? Number three, which is vital, if all these other sugars are high, well, then you need to do a test called HB1C. This is glucose that attaches itself on hemoglobin, on the cell, on red blood cells, in a span of three months. Now, if your sugars are high, this one is going to give us a, a better version. Normal should be between 5%. Anything above that is a problem, okay? Number test number three that you need to do this one checks your overall health is called complete blood count, right? Or what we call full hemogram. Okay, it's a chart, it checks your blood, your body for infections. Yes, it has five parameters of infection, it checks your blood level, it also checks for your platelets. Why for infection, if you have an infection, it's going to tell us whether it's viral or it's bacterial, depending on the fluctuation of WBCs levels. Okay. Number two is your red blood cells. Do you have enough red blood cells? Do you have enough hemoglobin? Remember, low blood level is anemia, right? In our next video, we're going to check why it is, it is dangerous to have too much blood. You may think that having too much blood is important. Something called polycythemia. We're going to check that in our next video. Why having too much blood is a problem, especially for people who live in highlands, people who just, and there are people who have conditions where your body just produces too much blood. Right? So that is complete blood count. Many men take alcohol. That's like a, a lifestyle for men. So what processes, what processes this alcohol? your liver. So you need to check liver function test. There are seven tests here, right? So you need to check them, right? Liver function test is important. Uh -huh. Is very, no, people who drink alcohol, as I think is river cirrhosis, right? People who drink alcohol, too much alcohol, right? Checking your liver is important because your liver is for detoxifying. So if, you, if your liver is damaged, there's a problem. Your liver is also involved in the functions of blood formation. So if you have a damaged liver, you're going to be anemic as well, right? So number two is your kidneys. 
if there's something that is important in your life is kidneys because kidneys they like sieve they sieve your blood okay blood passes there it is sieved we'll talk about the functions of your kidney and signs that your kidneys are filled in our next video so number two is a kidney function test in medical terms we call it uecs urea electrolyte electrolyte is sodium potassium and chloride right urea and creatinine creatinine is the waste product from your muscles urea is uh, from your liver is it's, it's what forms your urine okay all that forms your urine so if you have a problem with your, if you have blood pressure now see why you need to check yourself if you have blood pressure and diabetes they affect your kidneys your kidneys also have a very important um they produce a very important hormone called erythropoietin erythropoietin is responsible for production of blood so if your kidneys have failed now you are you're gonna become anemic as well right so what about your heart you could do an echo you could do an echo to check uh conditions with your heart but in blood what do you do you do uh, lipid profile lipid profile this involves cholesterol okay they are this cholesterol the high density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein and triglycerides right those are those are normal test i think also you should uh, you want to add sperm analysis this time remember this is below 30 years below 30 years you want to do this test because if you don't have sperms you don't have a family and maybe you want to create a family you do not want your your wife to get uh children out elsewhere and remember this video is sponsored by dr gomba i'm a medical robotic technologist i could come correct samples from the comfort of your home i could also sell you this first aid box and any other medical things that you require this is a full functioning uh first aid box if you need this one for your school for your hospital for your home i could guarantee that you could get this one as well if you are a hospital and you're looking for equipment you could talk to me and i would arrange whichever things that you need any equipment from dentals to x-rays to lab to the full hospital to surgery i got you right and also if you want samples corrected at the comfort of your home let's say your father is above 90 years and you want to check he, how his his health is doing you just contact me my number is on the comments uh, is on the description bar just contact me let's discuss which test your parent need let's say you are in gulf countries and you want your you want to check the health of your parent whether it's your mother whether it's your father you just contact me i will go and collect any sample you need right remember this is dr gomba i do all medical tests i could also come and collect uh, samples that involve um, paternity test maybe you have a small kid and they cannot come to the clinic i can come and collect those so let's go ahead for your sexual and reproductive health you need to check testosterone levels this is for your libido and your sperm production testosterone is also for your energy levels and what gives the male characteristic so you also need to check your testosterone levels for your sexual and reproductive health and sperm analysis this is this and also below that you want to do STIs sexually transmitted infection just to check how are you doing right you could have contracted this sexually transmitted infection you want to do that as well so you are over 30 years you let's say over 40 years over 40 years there's a specific test now that you need to do it's called PSA prostate specific antigen remember prostate have a risk of getting cancer right so you need to do prostate specific antigen right and again you want to do a digital rectal exam to check if the prostate have swollen okay remember this test you will this is what we call a wellness checkup we're calling it a health man wellness checkup test right you need to do a prostate specific antigen test and then you need to do a rectogram 
get to check if your if your prostate are swollen okay and then you do all the rest so when you are over 50 years you need to check uh, if say on 40 years you want to do um, something called tumor marker so remember psa is a tumor marker but you can do uh, you can do other other tumor markers okay to check if you have cancer you don't have to wait to get a cancer to be able to give yourself a checkup so here you could do all cancer markers remember this is a wellness checkup remember if this condition such as cancer are noticed early we are able to treat and eradicate them early if you get to stage three and stage four things now become a little bit complicated all right so here you could also do let's say 40 and above let's say even 50 years you also need to do colonoscopy to see if you have colorectal cancer people above 45 years would be at a high risk of get, of contracting this cancer you could also do vitamin d yes to check bo your bone health as well you could do bone chemistry above 50 years you also want to check um rheumatoid arthritis if you have if you're at a risk of contracting rheumatoid arthritis mental health is also important because men tend to keep with your condition then their mental health is is broken because you are the head of the family everyone is looking upon you your brother your wife your children your mother at this age is old who is checking for your mental health okay you should see a psychologist and i have a number of a psychologist here called kamora she's a psychologist she could help you through All right so th those are those are some of the tests that you could do below 30 above 40 and above 50 years All right so book up a session book up a session with me we have a discount in this christmas festivals the year is ending you we are coming to year 2025 you want to go to 2025 healthy remember at health matters plus we say your health is your wealth right so you need to check yourself don't go to 2025 with a condition that you cannot even really tell where it came from there are other tests that are not really very important like thyroid function test thyroid is found here you really want to check if your thyroids are okay skin examination if you have a history of skin condition you want to get it checked but those are those are not really the major ones those that i have talked about are literally the major ones as if you are having some difficulty in breathing you need to go to have an x-ray a chest x-ray just do a chest x-ray right and all of those we have forgotten in stis you could also check urinalysis when you're doing a kidney function test you want to include urinalysis okay so if, you, if your wife is complaining of infection, you just need to check that. Yes, and it also when you're checking for sperm analysis, you're also going to check if you have infection. So next time, let's see what women need to test with their different ages, okay? Next time, I'm going to check uh, uh, kidneys. What if your kidneys are failing? What are the signs and symptoms? So see you on the next one. My name is Dr. Gomba. If you want samples collected at the comfort of your house, you call me if you want equipment for your hospital, your clinic, and your laboratory, whether it's a school laboratory or a hospital laboratory, you just call me. And if you need any test, all of those tests done, this December we have a discount for that. Right. And before I forget, why didn't I say stool analysis? Yes, you need stool analysis because stool analysis is also going to help us understand if you have a colon cancer. Because if you have blood, that's going to be a suggestion that you could be suffering from either H. pylori or a colon cancer, right? So stool analysis included there. Stool analysis included there. Urinalysis included there. Yes. With that, you will be good to go. My name is Dr. Gomba. See you on the next one. If you are a returning subscriber, God, thank, God bless you. If you have been with us from day one, let's continue sharing share this with all men around all ages thank you very much see you on the next one